So I'm even later this time than I was last because it kept saying it couldn't find my camera. And I kept trying to find the place to change the setting and um, couldn't do it. So when in doubt, quit. I forgot to do that sooner. So um, I quit and I came back and now it's working. And probably nobody's here. Oh, Penny Keeling's here. Are you still here? Um, anyway, uh, I will just go ahead and blab since I <laughs> got up to do this, even if no one's here. Um, it's going to be a short, shorter one anyway, because I have uh, a headache that shows up from time to time that's very painful. So um, what I wanted to share was um, over a week ago, I went out for a walk at night. I've been trying to walk every day or at least move in some way. And it was very chilly out. I wasn't dressed quite warm enough. I thought I would warm up from moving and I didn't warm up enough. So I was kind of walking at a very brisk kind of choppy pace and um, I fell. My toe caught a ledge in the sidewalk and I went flying forward, landed predominantly on a knee that has already had reconstructive surgery. It's completely black and blue. Um, also landed on an elbow and my hip. And the first thought that, um, the first thoughts that came into my mind were, did I shred my down jacket sleeve? Did I put a hole in my nice pants? Did I ruin my leather gloves? And then I noticed something on the sidewalk in front of me and I realized that my knit cap had flown off because I hit the ground so hard. Oh no, my knit cap is on the ground getting dirty. And I never asked, did I hurt myself until after that? And it made me really realize how much I don't prioritize myself and how much um, taking care of things, not ruining things has been my priority. So I got up, I, I knew I was hurt, um, but thankfully I didn't hear anything pop like when I ruptured my ACL before. Um, I could walk and I got home and started icing and elevating, but, um, oh, on the way home, this also occurred. Um, I don't know if you can relate to this where you start ruminating about all the things that you did that caused this to happen or ruminating about all the things you should have done to avoid this from happening. Like I started berating myself. Um, why didn't you go back into the house and get another layer to be warmer so you wouldn't be walking so, um, you know, fast and choppy. Um, you've been walking smoother and you wouldn't have hit, hit that ledge. Um, also, I had, I tried to walk half an hour and when I was close to home, I looked at my watch and it was 28 minutes. And it's that inner critic. 28 is not 30 minutes. 28 is too short. Keep walking. So I continued walking and then I berated myself for that. Oh, why didn't you just go home? You just had to go another block. Um, also, I had changed direction because I was going to go all the way around the block and, you know, in a square, but I changed my mind because there's a construction site I would have passed and it's kind of uh, got a lot of junk around there. And I'm like, oh, no, just you turn and go back the way that you came. And that's where I hit the sidewalk ledge. Oh, you just had to change direction. Why don't you just keep going around the block? What's so bad about a construction site? At least this time I caught myself and said, you know what? None of that changes what happened. What happened happened. And you were out taking a daily walk for your health, which is a great thing. You were doing something good for yourself and something unfortunate happened. And so I was able to stop that inner, you know, call it dialogue, more like berating. Um, so... Yeah, it just makes me really think. I'm lucky I didn't knock out my teeth. I'm lucky I didn't crack open my skull and just, you know, die on the sidewalk alone because it was like nine o'clock at night. Um, and I think I mentioned in the last live stream that I was reading this book, uh, There's Nothing Wrong With You, I think the going beyond self-hate. 
I was in the midst of reading that book and there were parts of the book that I couldn't quite wrap my brain around. And even reading that, I would berate myself saying, why can't you understand this? Why, you're not stupid, read it again. Why don't you understand this? And I couldn't understand it. And then I tell myself, oh, it's probably something profound and you don't get it. What's wrong with you? And that's exactly what this book talks about is like how we're never doing it right. We're never um, smart enough, thin enough, whatever. And how this self-hate um, can lead to addictive behaviors, right? And um, addictive behaviors help you in the short term, hurt you, hurt you in the long term, right? It eases that anxiety in the short term. But uh, yeah, it's, um, and it talks about how self-hate is just a lose, lose situation. But um, so many things in that book really started clicking after this fall I had. So um, that's another conversation to have. There are so many bits from the book that um, I don't know, I really related to. And um, since, yeah, since I came to this <laughs> live stream so late, I thought I, I figured out the button to make it go live, but now I learned it's saying it couldn't find the camera for whatever reason. Um, and now I know in the future, when that happens, quit and restart and come back in. So um, I'm learning from my mistakes. We'll see if I can do this again in the future if anybody wants it. I don't know. Uh, it's for those who celebrate Christmas, it's Christmas Eve. Um, I wish you a happy holiday. I wish you self-care and self-love. Bye.